so uh, just a quick update on the redmi note uh, 10 pro so today uh, is uh, 29th january you may be watching in 30 or 31st so uh, we have uh, recently got the update on fixel os uh, for our redmi note 10 uh, pro suite sorry for the finger print smudges so here uh, the last update was uh, november uh, 2021 after december and finally at the end of the january we have the update for our redmi note 10 pro so how to do this well we'll see in this uh, video so this is not going to be a typical one uh, installing from scratch or not it is just a procedure will be same as uh, earlier you just need to do few things uh, but here what I am going to do is start off doing this. Uh, here I have this Fixel OS okay, which is running the older one. I was about to test these things. Uh, so we, here you can see it is running on the uh, 25th uh, November uh, security patch. So uh, November uh, 2022. So currently the one which we have is uh, released on uh, today 29th uh, January. So from here you need to do two things one is uh, recovery and second one is the latest build. So this two I already have downloaded it and where you can find the instructions well in the bottom it is there. You can just click it and these are some of the things you need to do the clean flash and all it is having F2FS and uh, EFOR. So maybe i will be telling some <laughs> technical terms wrong here in this uh, uh, post you can clearly see that um, we have some changes and the miui 4.3 point uh, this camera is included bantam kernel is now default kernel here we have uh, uh, some kernel uh, here also we have bantam kernel so uh, here you can read about uh, this uh, year of EROFS and uh, F2FS so these are the file format which is uh, which uh, this one uh, this room is going to use for this file format we need to uh, use the uh, uh, the recovery that is uh, provided by the uh, fixel OS uh, RN or something so I have downloaded both the files so where I have it uh, I have it inside my redmi note 10 folder and custom room fixel OS and today's date right so here I have uh, both the files so I am going to do the dirty flash because I am already in the fixel OS but if you are using some other one you may need to do this uh, uh, first procedure okay. So I am doing this uh, second process. So update via OT updater or flash the ROM via siloed or uh, re and reboot okay. So first what I need to do is I need to uh, get into the fast boot because I don't uh, even though it is a uh, somewhat uh, recent uh, recovery uh, fixel OS recovery I am going to uh, use this uh, latest one which I have downloaded today so before when it is happening I will open this latest uh, platform tools so here I need to type cmd okay and once I have it I will just <coughs> connect this uh, to this one before that I will reboot to the fast boot okay and this one and this one okay yes, this both I will hold it Okay, it is in a fast boot. I will connect it. Uh, in the CMD, uh, whichever I have opened it all, I will type uh, fast boot devices. So, device is now uh, there. I will just fast boot boot. Um, spelling mistake. Fast boot boot. And then I will go to custom ROM, fixel OS. This one, this is the latest. Uh, uh, recovery so I don't want to install it mm, I will just uh, boot into that fixel uh, recovery once it is booted I will do the uh, side load uh, from there itself that would be great <coughs> so here I am in this uh, one so I will click on apply update okay this one here you can see the date um, it is 29th 12 so today's date so today's one is booted so I will just select apply update, apply update from ADB, okay. So now the update is uh, aware this one, it is in ADB. So here I will type ADB uh, devices. So it is connected via ADB siloed. So what I do, uh, the comment is here uh, you can see. 
adb side load and then i'll drag and drop this file hit enter it started side loading this one when it is happening we'll see uh, what is meant by those uh, two terms which is called erof erofs and ftfs ftfs is uh, fast file uh, fast format file system i think so this uh, erofs is a technology origin by huawei okay so what this will do is it will make that our system images there right system image files this uh, just as a read only uh, read only so that uh, our write access will be write update access will be uh, uh, denied and we can only read the system files so that's what we are going to do uh, even in the normal cases when we are strictly telling that this is only the read uh, only image uh, this uh, guys are suggesting that it will be like uh, faster the uh, process because there is no uh, write option itself so some will automatically uh, deny the writing uh, 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 operations and it will determine that all will be read only so from that uh, reducing that extra uh, operations or something uh, some unwanted operation this will uh, reduce the uh, uh, loading time and it will give the so, uh, smoother experience or something so this is what the erofs is so this is just like a compression uh, this f2fs it is just a blocking system where uh, blocks where it just uh, tells the system like how the data going to be organized so first time when you convert it from ext extension 4 to uh, f2fs you need to do the clean flash okay after that i don't think you need to do it but it only supports in the particular uh, recoveries like uh, they were new twrp or something this uh, fixel os uh, recovery should support uh, that one so now we have uh, successfully installed it didn't took much time so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to reboot to system so now we have uh, booted into our uh, latest fixel os so from here what i'm going to do is it is just doing this uh, finishalizing the system updates so showing audible is keep on closing i like the smoothness and the other things even we have this uh, mi camera where it is here they have removed this leica thing uh, earlier we had leica colorful and other stuff now it is removed yeah it is removed but we have some other options that is fine totally and um, still we have this 4k options and all so that is great um, i have tested this uh, front camera and all in that uh, previous room but here i again have to uh, test it from, <laughs> from the beginning we have a uh, dolby atmos fry by default only these two things uh, uh, making it to uh, a <laughs> lot of uh, things also i realized uh, in uh, people have uh, such a com continuously telling that this uh, having a less battery backup uh, in the previous uh, version so now it it should be fixed because um, it has this ventum kernel they are telling so so this is ventum kernel uh, here you can see the security patch is now uh, january 5th uh, 2023 so that should do the thing i was checking uh, this uh, network uh, monitor indicator and all was there but it is not but still uh, uh, it is uh, more than enough for me to uh, proceed like uh, it is uh, proceed it is like a stay uh, actual one because the, the gcam you can't trust always somehow uh, whenever you want to take some uh, portrait or uh, sorry some landscapes uh, some natural thing or something you can wait and take it but when you with some other people they ask you to take a selfie or something if you suddenly take it will take pretty much five to ten seconds sometimes sometimes that picture won't get saved and you need to ask again hey buddy just uh, could you please stand again 
if it is one person it's fine 10 people if you are taking a photo means they can't give the same pose again and again so that kind of situation gcam is uh, somewhat uh, <laughs> uh, dangerous a bit so yeah this is fine and uh, that options and all not there yeah that is uh, pretty much uh, this uh, installing this uh, fixel os from the previous fixel os so this is the somewhat i'm doing it uh, for the first time so yeah thank you for watching code moto